To replace the blower motor, you're going to need to first remove the wiper motor. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance with that project. When removing the wiper motor, you will need to remove the foam section between the engine compartment and the cabin air filter box, as indicated by the red arrow. There are four circular screw heads that look like flowers, red arrow. Unscrew these and carefully remove the piece. The foam and the plastic can become very brittle over the years, so work slowly and carefully. You will need to feed some of the wiring harness through the opening as you go, then remove it from the engine compartment. With the wiper and motor removed, you will be looking at the cabin air filter box. Remove the evaporator sensor, red arrow, by pulling it out of its mount and setting it aside. Next, remove the two air filters by folding down the clip on the lower left section of the box, yellow arrow. The other clips are fixed, and if you try to force them down, you will break them. Slide the bottom filter out first, and then lower the top filter and slide it out like the other one. The blower motor is contained inside the plastic air box. The lid to the air box is held in place by several small metal clips, red arrows. Remove each clip by gently prying them away with a flathead screwdriver, red arrow. Double check to make sure you have all the clips, including the ones inside the box. You do not need to remove any of the Phillips head screws. When all the clips are loose, the top of the air box will lift off, red arrow. The blower motor has two electrical connections and both wires are color coded for ease of installation, red arrow. Separate the wiring connection, noting the wires running below the motor. The motor is held in place by a single metal clip. Use a screwdriver and unclip the bracket from the rear of the air box, green arrow. The motor is now free to be removed from the air box, red arrow. You can take the motor to your workbench and clean and lubricate it. If you are removing the squirrel cages, you will probably need to use a puller to get them off the spindles. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.